Hello everybody, this is Jeff Blunt with Sugar Buzz Bakery Wholesale Project. We'll be discussing our ideal client today for Western Carolina's entrepreneurship program. First off, I'd like to say that uh, Sugar Buzz Wholesale Facility is going to be located in Denver, North Carolina. Um, our ideal client would be a cafe, uh, hotel, restaurant, or coffee shop that is located within a 50 mile radius of the wholesale facility in Denver, North Carolina. As you can see with the map, uh, this gives us Charlotte, Mecklenburg, Gaston County, Lincoln County, Traverse County, Catawba County, and Union County, which is just to the south uh, side of Charlotte. Um, growth in the food industry places uh, most of them in the 24th uh, percentile. Uh, about $5 billion in food and beverage for that sector of uh, uh, geographic breakdown. Um, so uh, it's definitely on the rise. Uh, demographics as far as the specifics of an ideal client. Now, Sugar Buzz Wholesale Facility obviously is a wholesale facility. Um, we'll be looking for uh, those kinds of cafes and hotels and such that um, uh, are in need of pastry because not every establishment has or should that really be stated that needs pastry? Um, a sandwich shop probably only needs cookies, um, whereas a full sit-down restaurant uh, is in need of the dessert menu. So uh, it's one of the things that we'll be looking at. Not every establishment uh, it has a pastry staff. So uh, for those facilities that do not have a pastry staff, uh, they'll definitely be fitting into one of our groups. Um, we're also looking for facilities um, who are looking for quality, um, not someone who just wants frozen packaged products um, because there are certain facilities out there that do want a frozen cookie or brownie or a Sara Lee slice of pound cake and then the savory staff will chop up some fresh strawberries, toss a little bit of sugar and top those as well. Um, we're also looking for someone who's looking to justify their dessert sales. Not every facility still not needing to sell desserts. They want to turn covers on the center of the plate protein um, and uh, so therefore they don't justify those dessert sales within their facility. We're also looking at sustainable marketing within the cafe. Is that facility looking to um, sustain a dessert um, selling with, uh, within the market or the cafe itself? And then whether or not a facility is based on um, Locavore or not. Um, we're seeing a huge movement with Locavore in the Charlotte Mecklenburg surrounding area. And people don't want to buy a pastry in a facility that was made 2,000 miles away. They'd like it to be made, if it can't be made within the facility, at least made within a 50-mile radius of the facility. And that helps the local wars um, really um, want to buy those products more. So that definitely fits some of our specifics for our ideals. Our behavioral traits with our ideal client, we're going to be talking here a little bit about... Um, what those little specific things are with some of those hotels and cafes and coffee shops and restaurants and things. Um, we're looking for members of a hospitality organization, possibly uh, the ACF or the CMRA, uh, which are hospitality organizations within the Charlotte, Mecklenburg and surrounding area. We're also gonna be looking for facilities that are newly formed or just getting ready to open. Um, these facilities will be looking for uh, a solution to their problem of supplying a dessert on the table. We're also looking for a chef or owner uh, having a trustworthy background. We want a chef or an owner that is looking uh, for product um, because they're reputable. They want to be known in the community for doing a good job. Um, so this is very, very important to us. We're also looking for facilities that have really small kitchens um, because if they have a small kitchen, they need to utilize that space for their savory food and they really don't want to dedicate it to a pastry uh, staff on the facility. We're also looking for clients with a need to impact their dessert dollars. Um, they want to really make a change and increase those dessert sales. We're here for them. Um, and we're looking for establishments that value quality over the money spent. Um, yes, you can get a $7 whole cheesecake off the back of a U.S. food truck, and ours might be 10 to 12, but what's the quality? Uh, and are you valuing that quality over saving a buck? Psychographics for the ideal client for Sugar Buzz. We're looking for loyalty and trust with our clients. We're looking for a company that's going to be fiscally responsible and pay their bills on time. 
we're looking for skilled and honest culinary teams. Um, those culinary teams need to really be um, honed in their craft and actually appreciate what it is that they're getting with our product. Um, we're also looking for growth potential. We don't want just two or three desserts. We'd like the dessert menu there at that facility to be five, six, or seven items, and we'd like to have all that business. So we want to know that we've got some potential to grow within that facility. We also want that premium quality driven team. Not just skilled, not just honest, but the quality has to be there. If they're serving great quality steak, serving great quality bread, they definitely want to serve great quality desserts and end on a good note. And we want those kind of facilities as our clients. We also need a, a facility that's going to need or respect the advisor role that we're going to supply. We are the pastry experts and we know what kind of desserts might fit their clientele, maybe a little bit better than some of the chefs themselves do inside the restaurants. Um, and we wanna be able to work with them and know that they can respect um, our advisorship role on offering different desserts for them. The American Culinary Federation ACF Seal of Approval Program. This is a wonderful program that supplies um, facilities like Sugar Buzz um, with a certification basically that allows the chefs and restaurants um, to see that our product has proven to be superior uh, in specific areas like application. Are we doing it the right way? Performance. Are we handling our service and the performance of the product to the customer the right way? Our physical properties. Are we using great quality ingredients? And then our packaging. Are we following it up with the whole entire package and getting it to the facility in the right container um, specific for that facility? So we'll be looking for companies that are looking for the American Culinary Seal of Approval. As we look at the breakdown from 2014, the North Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association, as well as the Charlotte Mecklenburg Restaurant Association, did a breakdown of facilities. Um, for our demographic area, uh, we have 3,145 food slash hotel slash coffee shops and restaurants. Um, for that total of 3,145, however, there's just a small sector about 25% that we're actually going to be looking at. Um, and those are cafes, uh, once again, that need pastries, about 129 of those in that area. Coffee shops, they're looking to sell muffins and cookies and cakes, and pies, um, about 120 of those. Hotels, and this isn't your Quality Inn or your Red Roof. These are your hotels like your Westons and your Hiltons. These places might not have a pastry chef on staff, but still need good quality pastries so that their pastry cooks can put together a wonderful plate of dessert. So we're looking for those, and there's about 35 of those in the area. Restaurants, we have 637 restaurants. Now these restaurants are the mom and pop independent restaurants. These are not your Chili's, your Applebee's, your Outbacks. Those are well beyond what we'll be aiming for in the market. And then the rest, you can see that 2,224, that's everything else. That's all those chilies, the Super 8s, all those other places that we're not going to be able to gain access to. So when you really look at it, we've got about 25% of that 3,145 that we'll be aiming for uh, when we looked at the numbers from the locals. Social media ideal client. This number gets really, really small and partially because of the fact that we're a wholesale operation. With a wholesale operation, when we look at targeted markets, we only have 118 to look at. Um, and part of that is because we're looking at independently owned and operated facilities. So those independently owned and operated facilities have a Facebook or an Instagram page. Uh, we're looking at restaurants. And of course, it's not just a restaurant. It's also the chef and owner of that restaurant, whether or not he has a page. Cafes and coffee shops have their own business pages, as well as hotels that have a need. Um, and then all of that would being within a 50 mile radius. And then the last part of the puzzle was restaurants, cafes, and things that have menus that state that they serve dessert. So of course we want to be able to have an option to go in there and help them with those menus. So with 118 clients, uh, only on social media, that makes a, a big number that we've got to make up for. So how are we going to make up for that? The rest of that equation? Well, obviously we're going to have to go out and put some feet to the ground 
and we're looking at FaceTime. Uh, we're also looking at getting involved in local professional organizations such as Piedmont Culinary Guild, which is a farm to fork movement, a lot of locavore activity there, and a lot of great chefs in the, in the neighborhood. We're also looking at the Charlotte Mecklenburg Restaurant Association. This will help us with some of the food and beverage directors at local hotels and other larger restaurants that might be part of what we call a local group, uh, for instance, the Harper's Group. Um, and then, of course, the North Carolina American Culinary Federation, the ACF, um, are our chefs in the area, primarily made up of 95% savory chefs. And, of course, with that American Culinary Federation seal of approval, that's going to really help us get in the door there. We're also going to be looking at local chef philanthropy, or what we call culanthropy. Um, there's a lot of events uh, throughout the Charlotte and surrounding markets. Uh, guests who come to dinner, um, the Signature Chef Series for the March of Dimes, um, the Soup on Sunday events. Those events are in need of free desserts. And, of course, that's a great marketing stream for us. And, and of course, that hooks right in with the social media. Um, lots of pictures take great pictures. Uh, of that area, the people that are walking around see the food, they want to take pictures with it, and they want to take pictures with the chefs. So, and of course, it's for a great cause. And then, of course, we're going to go to some of those other local events uh, the, the parade in the park, the taste of the nation, those different things. And then, culinary schools. With culinary schools, students love to talk. And of course, we want to make sure they're talking about Sugar Buzz. When they go and eat, work in their facilities with savory chefs and they're pulling out the razor blade and opening up boxes off the U.S. food truck. We want those students to possibly mention our product and the fact that it's made with good quality ingredients and that they've known about us through the culinary school. And then for those local TV cooking spots, the local culinary scene in the Charlotte and surrounding area um, is very media uh, friendly and they're always looking for chefs to go to the local television stations and do those 12 o'clock uh, during lunch break kind of tips and hints and things about how to get ready for the holidays. And of course, being able to go in there and do some of those free spots gets us a little bit more marketing and gets us some face time out there. So those things are really going to help. I'd like to thank you for your time. This has been Jeff Blunt with the Sugar Buzz Wholesale Ideal Client Overview. Have a wonderful weekend and happy baking. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.